Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. I had to redo this again. The first time my mic wasn't on, so uh, we're still in the web fu fundamentals path. I reset content discovery. Check out the previous video for walking and application. It closes out. So I already loaded the attack box start machine and um, this video is just to show you how to answer the task questions. And I always uh, strongly recommend to read through all, all of these tasks to get a basic fundamental understanding of what um, uh, the various topics about as this one content discovery. So let's get right into it. Task one, what is content discovery? And to answer all these questions, there are three main ways of discovering content on a website, which is manually automated and OSIT. So the first question is, what is the content discovery method that begins with M? It is manually. What is content discovery method that begins with A, which is automated? And third one is what is content? What is the content discovery method that begins with O? O S I N T. There you go. Let's go task two: manual discovery robots. Text. The question is: What is the directory in the robots text that isn't allowed to be viewed by web crawlers? There's a website link here, so let's uh, copy the link. Go to the clipboard. And paste and go. Let's see what this says. I want to check if my mic is on. Yes. Okay, my mic's on. It says, is it allowed? Disallow? And is staff portal? Copy and paste. Awesome. Let's go task three, manual discovery, favicon. Okay. Answer questions below. What framework did a favicon belong to? There's a hint or on the attack box, open a terminal and type the command above. Okay, let's open the terminal. And it's really simple. It wants you to type this command, but for this video, I'm just gonna copy and paste. I recommend type it so you get used to the command and you know you understand what curl means md5 sum so once you click there's this uh hash right here let's copy and how do you know what kind of framework as you read through this task there is a website owaps.org so right click open New link is a Wikipedia. Control F for find and then copy and paste and voila. C G I I R C. Let's go. All right, task four manual discovery sitemap.xml. And it says, what is the secret area that can be found in the sitemap MXL file? So highlight, copy clipboard, paste, and paste again. Okay, so it has a script looking thing. Just read through it. And as you can see, there's this one, the secret area. It's only looking for the path, so copy, paste. Awesome. Next task, task five, manual discovery, HTTP headers. And the question is, what is the flag value from X flag header? Hint, make sure you start attack box. The flag starts with HM something. Okay, so command again. And it's talking about the curl command. So copy, clipboard and paste. And then paste again. And as you scroll up, read through it. 
There's the answer. X flag TGM. Header flag. Copy and paste. Awesome. Task six, manual discovery framework st stack. Let's see, uh, what's the flag from the framework's administration portal? Here's another link. Let's copy, clipboard, paste, and go back to the Firefox browser, paste. And this talks about view documentation page. And to log in the administration is admin, username, password admin. So let's open a new tab and it says go to this website for Apni Atai. Oops, I forgot to clipboard it. That's why. Copy. Hmm. Let me copy again. Okay. It's not letting me. Let me right click this. There you go. So copy. All right. IT support. And copy this path. Teach aim framework login. Oops, tiers two sl slashes. Let's do one more. There you go. Admin, admin. And THM, change default credential. Copy and paste. There you go. Task seven, OSINT, Google hacking, dorking. And the question is, what Google Door operator can be used to only show results from a particular site format XXX? Site, as you read through this, it says website address. So it's site. Awesome. All right. Task eight. OSINT WAPA Lizer. I think that's how you say it. And it's pretty simple. What online tool can be used to identify what technologies a website is running? And is Wapalizer. Task 9, OSINT, Wayback Machine. And the question is, what is the website address for the Wayback Machine? And is archive.web. All right, task 10. OSI, OSINT GitHub, and the question is, what is Git? And as you read through a paragraph, there's this bold worded version control system. Awesome. Task 11, OSINT S3 buckets. And the question is, what URL format do Amazon S3 buckets end in? Hint, make sure you start with a period. So you just highlight it's s3amazon.com. And task 12, automated discovery. And there's questions below. It says, what is the name of the directory? Oh man, my alarm. Beginning with MO. Let's see. It says on the attack box, open the terminal, run the commands show above. Okay, let's uh, close this out. And talking about directory, so it's, I'm gonna use derp right here. All right. As it's generating, and as you can see, there's contact customer development, and look, it says monthly, monthly. So I think it's monthly. Yes, it is. All right, last question is, what is the name of the lot that was discovered? And as you can see, you use Ghostbuster, but you already can tell 
there's only one log file and it's development.log. Awesome guys. All right, complete this uh, task. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I already share on LinkedIn. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, bell button, notification bell button, and comment below if uh, you like this video or let me know how to improve these videos. Uh, just want to let you know, guys, I, don't, I do not have uh, IT background or IT experience, but I do love learning these stuff and I'm using this on my own time and money. I am actually currently CompTIA certified in IFT+, A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, and Security+. That's a lot plus. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.